March 20th, 2017. Still out in the general area of the Leonard um, Mammoth Kill Site. Now that's the San Pedro or San Pedro River Valley. Don't know if there's any real water flowing through there, but you can definitely see the line of trees out through there. That's the 92, just above the top of the trees out there. Looking more toward the south, Bisbee, Arizona, Mexico, before the horizon ends there. Some of the local mountains. I swore I saw some snow up there. I wasn't really sure, but it sure seemed like some white stuff. Of course, that could have easily have been some uh, white rocks. And then this is just part of the mesa up here. Just right in front of you is the area where the uh, mammoth kill was at. And this is, uh, this is that hard rock, or at least hard surface that's underneath, usually only within a foot or two of the surface out here. I believe it's called caliche. So I, if somebody out here, as I heard a docent say, somebody asks you to go help them dig a ditch, you better bring a jackhammer because you get down a foot or two and you hit this stuff. And while this is a little bit of a truck trail, this is very easily just the hard surface rock. So it does take a while for this stuff to wear down. So here you go. This is just rock surface. And while it may not be completely hardened rock, you know, it might be uh, hardened mud, it's pretty hard to deal with. You can see the white car over there. That's the only spot where there's any kind of sign. If you come out here, uh, just a little bit uh, south and east of Sierra Vista, there are no signs marking it. Doesn't uh, no uh, things that says turn here, turn there. Cute little signs. Uh, Cairns, anything out here to mark it, the spot other than actually once you actually get right to the spot there are a couple little signs there so for this particular spot you really have to know where you're going otherwise you're only going to find it by luck and uh, other than the road being named L-E-H uh, N-E-R that's the only uh, hint that you might be here I'm going to put this on pause for a moment all right, continuing on, the uh, other side of the actual dirt road, uh, the L-E-H-N-E-R dirt road, and a couple hundred yards away from where I just was, this is the actual only signs that you're going to see. And there you go, L-E-H-N-E-R mammoth kill site. It says that the family found it, 1952, dates back to 1100 years ago, or 11,000 years ago. And they found quite a few things in covered bones, 13 cloven spear points, 8 cutting and scraping tools, and it says here they, uh, uh, let's see here, find it again, mammoth, tapir, bison, and horse. And so it's just this little spot right here. Other than that, you'd never know there was anything out here. Again, so they would come in if it's a real kill site they would sort of run them in from the river over there up this draw and then get them stuck in a corner or a little box although it's not very deep so it's still be pretty rough to get any kind of a actual cornering unless you just you know get a narrow thing but you know you get enough people on either side with spears you can do some damage all right, from the uh, Lerner Mammoth Kill site, Travels with Phil, back to you.